Mm, mm, mm. Morning, evening, afternoon. My hair's still a wreck. I literally just rolled out of bed because my text, my phone sent me a text message that said, "Your package has been delivered." What does that mean? As we all know, it's Kingdom Hearts 3 release day. Ah, I'm excited. I really am doing this unboxing video. Literally rolled out of bed, threw a shirt on, got the mail, and I'm doing the unboxing video because I want to go play. Can't play all day, can't play all night, you know, I didn't take the day off. I have to be a responsible adult, and go to work. I don't know why I just did that with, but I don't want to, I don't want to be, I don't want to adult today. I want to go literally sit down and just play Kingdom Hearts 3. So, that is why we are here. We are here to unbox Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, I have a weird, I don't, I don't know how I feel. Like, pre-ordering is weird to me. Pre-ordering basic edition of the games, I don't think it would waste your time. You probably can go to any store and find it um, on release day. Even probably when you wake up at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, you probably still go find basic editions of these games. So pre-ordering those, unless they come with a free item when you pre-order, not waste your time. Just go to the store and buy it. Don't worry about it. Um, deluxe editions, they're usually just a still book with some stickers or something like that. You might be able to find the shelf if you get there when the door's open. You might be able to find it a couple hours after the door's open, but you might not find it after lunch. So, if you want to pre-order it, whatever, feel free. Um, but that's you got to weigh your options if that's what you want to do. Uh, now, the some of the really special editions, limited editions, they can, they're literally sold out 95% of the time. There's always some big games that they make too many of them, too many special editions, and you see them five years down the line. Halo 3 with the stupid helmet. I don't know if I have it over here. I think it's over there. I saw I saw that. I bought it, pre-ordered it today, and went on pre-order at work at Circuit City when I worked there, and we had it till we went out of business. So, it was one of the examples that they made too many of them. But, I pre-ordered the deluxe edition with figures from Square's website. I'm excited about it. I like figures. I have a fucking bookshelf <laughs> of toys, figures, stuff like that. Stuff that I put over here. And I love stuff like this. So, I'm, I'm actually excited for this. I'm not going to open it. I'm going to show you to it. Luckily, it's clear so you can see what the figures look like. But that's cool. This thing was $225. My wife pre-ordered it for me for, for Christmas. She goes, what do you want for Christmas? I said, this is it. She's like, is it a console? I said, no. I said, the game with figures. She's like, that's 200 bucks. I said, I know. It's a con it's a game with figures. I'm excited about it. It's a game I've been waiting years for. I haven't been one of these people that's been like, freaking out. But I'm excited to play it. I'm excited. I, mean, I have a, a weird, just kind of, relationship with Kingdom Hearts. Like, the first one, I didn't, I didn't buy it until the Grey Saints version came out, and then I bought it and became addicted to it instantly. Kingdom Hearts 2, I bought the day it came out. Um, the side stories were pretty much time fillers for me. I didn't really buy them, I just played them. Um, and I never thought we could see Kingdom Hearts 3, and then when they finally announced Kingdom Hearts 3, I was the happy camper and a kid in, a kid in a candy store pretty much again. So, and... I don't know what I'm gonna do. I like Final Fantasy games. I like the whole. Those types of games. Not a big Call of Duty fan. These are my games. I like the Kingdom Hearts. I like the Final Fantasies. I like stuff like that. I like the RPG style games. Where I can kill, you know, 30, 40, 50, 100 plus hours playing games. So. Let me show you what you get for $225 plus. But like 240 bucks shipped. We will start with the figures themselves. These are the figures you get. You have three pack of figures. I didn't realize what all you were getting. But I'm okay with this. So you get ah oops hit my mic. Sorry about that. You get Sora, Donald, and Goofy figures, collectible figures. You can see there's a shield. There's like Looks like you get some, these look like Goofy's hands, you get a shield, you get 
a keyblade, share. That says share upon it. You get a replacement sword head. You get it looks like a wand. A replacement sword hands. Um, some Donald hands and Donald. And replacement. I don't see anything else. Let me say this is the packaging. It's gonna stay in the packaging. Fancy, 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 fancy. So that was the collective edition from Koi from Square Enix itself. That, that's what you get. That's part of your 225. That's not how I expected the package. To be honest, I expected a big collector's box with these figures set aside and then you really put them on the shelf but I like that this is in this because I keep it in this and it's going to make it easier to keep clean I know yeah. then you get to the meat the meat of the product that you paid the $225 for I don't even know if you can like they re-released some like a week ago you might have been able to buy one I don't know if you still can so if you may want to look you might be able to still grab one of these this is what is in your this tickles your fancy but the, the meat, I mean the product, is do, 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 do. Kingdom Hearts 3 Deluxe Edition. I only have an Xbox One. I do not have a PS4. I have not bought a PS4. I haven't bought a Switch. Last, I have a PS3 and a Wii. I never bought the Wii U either. So, I got the Xbox One X with my one friend decided he wanted that we were going to get it and we were going to play it again. And we never really did. And then we kind of quit talking. Long story, very long story, complicated for my head, that's because of it, but it's fine. So, this is your packaging for Kingdom Hearts 3 Deluxe Edition. Boom. And on the back, you can see you get a pin. I will be taking that out. This will all be coming open, because I need to play this game today. So, let's open this thing up. It's nice, the foil, it's nice shiny foil, like for Kingdom Hearts uh, print. It's kind of cool. The Deluxe Edition is in shiny foil. And you can see it's kind of like shiny flashy this is like even this I don't know if you can see it as much as this but it is like the crown is kind of shiny um even the Lux edition print is kind of shiny so yeah you can kind of see it shiny it's like shiny it's like the wrap off here we go let's get this heart the meat of the product okay so this is xbox one and half single player so you want to know what you get all right so first thing we get Like a book. Let's say it is. Python. Look at the back. It comes with an art book. This is an art book. It's an art book. Nice. Hardbound, hardback art, art book. Glad they did the hardback one. It's kind of cool. Hardcover stuff. Because I don't really want to look too much into it, but you can kind of get an idea. I'm going to show you. I've got keyblades and stuff like that. Like some writing. <laughs> I don't really want, I don't want anything spoiled, so it's kind of like. Kind of cool. Nice hardback. Pretty, pretty, pretty happy with that. That's pretty cool. Let me get this pin out. Can I get this pin out? Yeah, I can't have the pin out without destroying the box. I don't really want to destroy the box. Here's the pin. I like that. That's cool. I'm pretty happy with the pin. Pin's nice. That's me a weird glare. Hmm. It was out actually. Now you can kind of see it. Sora, Kingdom Hearts 3, with a crown. Pretty happy with that. The box is now officially empty. You get a still book. I like the still book. This is nice. This is very nice. There's nothing in it. It's an empty still book. <laughs> I don't know why they do that. I like the still book though. Very nice. Very nice still book. Pretty happy with that. Kingdom Hearts 3. Still book case. And the, what we have all are here for. Another the Kingdom Hearts 3 game. I, I don't I don't know why they just don't put the game in the still book. Unless it's for shipping purposes. Maybe they've had too many problems with the still books having problems with scratching games and stuff like that. I don't know. But I have stuff that's in still books. I've never had any problems with it before. Movies, games. I don't know, I have 
that I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know why I didn't ship in the steelbook. I mean, I'm cool with it. I mean, I'm probably not using the steelbook then. It looks nice. But I just put it on a shelf and leave it there. So I never have to open it. I can't get into the game. <laughs> I can't get into the game. That's so weird. I still want to ship in the game. I'll have to put something in. There's nothing in the still book at all that catches my that tell me, hey, you need to open me. I thought there'd be something, a sticker or something, anything. No, it's just in the still book. Hmm. Okay. No. Okay. Oh, now we're going to take the sticker off there. Take the security sticker off. This has never been opened before. Blah blah blah. Super security stickers. What the hell? These things used to be so much. It's like. I mean, granted, when you worked in the when you worked with these things long enough, you could pull the stickers off and then see we sell the game. I never actually destroyed the sticker because the stickers are garbage. They're not. They're not actual security stickers. They're supposed to be, but they're not. Like you could actually. Like, if you took the sticker, the sticker off at most of these games, and then we, never mind, we won't talk about that. The things I've seen working in retail. But anyway, this is not for resale. So, this version is not for resale. Anyway, let's open you up. Boom. Ooh. Yeah, I don't want to. That's registration. Bam. That's what you get. World of Kingdom Hearts available now. World of Final Fantasy available now. What's this for? Your phone. Play classic Kingdom Hearts mini games and, and then on the go. Then start Kingdom Hearts 3 with Starlight Keyblade. Okay. World of Final Fantasy makes up. Remove this cover sheet for important game information. Okay. In the game. Okay, well, that's what you get. There is no... So, they make these, right? Like this. Okay. It's fine. That you just put an advertisement in there. But, you gave me a spot for, like, a manual. <laughs> and it's, I mean, I get all manuals in games anymore. But you gave me a spot for a manual, and why? Right, you gotta put something here. And the thing here. Don't give me a spot. For, like, this is not needed anymore. If you're gonna give me the still book, you don't need to give me the plastic. I get these things you make for pennies. Not even pennies. The plastic inserts you make for less than pennies. But I don't need this anymore. Maybe make this solid for now on. That'd be great when you guys are done producing these things and your thousand million that you made. Um, but yeah, so that's what you get. So, the deluxe edition includes the game, a pin, a still book case that's completely empty. It looks nice. I still like it. It's still nice. It'll go on my shelf. And an iPod. Hardcover iPod, which is cool. And then if you spent the $225, you got the figures. That's what you got. For $225, you got that. Now, rumor has it the game's about 30 plus hours in gameplay. Um, I'll probably beat this weekend. Maybe. We'll see. Depends on how distracting the wife gets. Um, but yeah, so that's what you get for your $225. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about this stuff. This stuff does excite me. I'm excited to play the game. I'm excited for the figures. These figures are cool. I usually don't buy stuff with figures, but these, these are cool, so. Do I know if it was, do I think it was worth $225? Uh, I don't know what these figures individually sell for. That's the question. I haven't looked these figures up to see what they individually sell for, so I don't know if it's worth $225. The game alone, plus the, plus the deluxe edition alone, was at like $80, $90, give or take, maybe $70, $80, $70, $90. So is this, this right here, on a $50 figure? It might be. These figures may be $50 figures. I don't, I don't know. I haven't looked these up. So, that's up to you. If you want to go get it, 
If you can find it, feel free. Enjoy. This is still cool. Listen to me. What's what it? I said the whole back's in Japanese, so I can't translate the back to you at all. But this is cool. This is a nice little collector edition to finish off. But I believe it's going to be the end of Kingdom Hearts. Saint just ends the story. Guy kind of sad. Well, it's been 13 years. See what it brings. I am going to go play. I'll see you all next time. Take it easy. Have a good one. Peace.